So tell us about now. I was looking at pictures of it. This is a um, uh, the story that we're talking about here. Is it's a is it a house or no, is it former, a former former industrial building uh, built in 1938 and we bought it and uh, converted it into a residence and uh, garage. So the whole living space is a garage. We can have cars in the living room. And I was going to be so excited about showing people the, the, the picture of the car in the garage, which I actually had here. You're on Woodward, right? Or near Woodward? Yeah, just Close to Woodward. Woodward. Okay. Yeah. And I was looking, and I don't think there were still pictures in this. Uh, it was all on that videotape. For some reason, my videotape stopped rolling. And I don't know what the... Oh, so we'll see if we'll do it this way here. Look at that. The video you're trying to watch is currently unavailable. Hmm. Well, Why would that possibly be? I think it's coming back, though. Oh, wait, no. It's working. Yeah, it's coming back. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there I can call it up there now. All right, so we're looking at the outside of the building right now. So this was a formal, as you say. I'm going to get rid of this little Deco right industrial there. building with the curved walls in the front there that go to the front they, door. They built uh, ductwork in there, so they serviced, like, uh, heating, you know, cooling, So that's our living room, the Shelby GT350 SR. Uh, I love the neon sculpture on the wall, too. Neon, neon sculpture from, uh, from uh, <laughs> Double local. Woman. That's the local Detroit artist from the Dirty Show uh, on Valentine's Day weekend. So the idea here is that, like, a lot of that stuff kind of moves around. Like, we can rotate a car in and out. We can move the furniture around. Right. We'd like to have, like, parties and events. So, well, it's all very flexible space. At kitchen stadium, so we do a bunch of food stuff there as well. So I guess the question is, we look at this, why did you do all this? <laughs> well, we're both immersed in the industry, and rather than fighting, you might as well give way to it, right? Well, I always had, like, ever since I was a kid, I had a dream. I mean, I've always been obsessed with cars, but I've always had this dream that, like, man, if I could have a car in my living room, that would be, like, the coolest thing ever. You know, and, and actually, we're not, we're not showing this on screen right now, so I just want to warn you as we, as we look at this that we're actually on our camera right now. Uh, there was a show on TV, Dan Tana. What was the name of that show? And he had his, uh, uh, his in Vegas. Ma Magnum P.I. It wasn't Magnum, no, 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 it was, no, no, it was, no. but it was he the did. same era. Yeah, he drove in. He drove into yes, his house, exactly. and it was like in Vegas, and he had a Corvette or something like that. Oh, he pulled oh, right oh, in there. Daytona Ferrari, I think, wasn't it? What do I, I can't remember You're what You're mixing up Miami Vice oh, and all oh. kind of stuff. <laughs> no, but, it was, but then was, was, I had that same dream you did. That's one day I said, man, I would love to be able to just pull my car right into my house, right. close the garage door, and then you got the living room with the car, and everything's right there. My wife has different ideas. Yeah, that's a big question, too. It's like, Oh, how did they get away with this? You know, <laughs> but it's it's great. I mean, we it, it's really cool because it takes a car and it's like it changes the way that you look at the car. You know, like when somebody sees a car in a garage, you don't think twice about it. When they see it driving down the road, you get one image of it. But when it's sitting there, it kind of becomes like a piece of furniture, like a piece it's of sculpture. Piece of, it's it's know, an artwork. You yeah, appreciate yeah, exactly. it differently. Yeah. Now, do you see? Um, I'm going to talk about taking old buildings and repurposing them. So this was you say an industrial space. Uh, do, you, do you see that that's the way people ought to be going instead of tearing them down and building a house I'll instead? Tell you, uh, I'll tell you, the, the reaction that we get is, is uh, overwhelming. Young people, empty nesters, people getting up into their 70s that we go through the house like, why don't I look like this? This is so easy. Well, I think, you know, Detroit has a history of like a lot of things kind of um, getting crumbling or burning or getting torn down. And we have a lot of history with the architecture. So I think it's important that we are going in and finding buildings and trying to save the buildings that we have instead of destroy the history that we have by tearing them down and building something new. Now which, uh, whose car is this one right here, the, the station wagon? That's our car. It's a 1963 Buick Special Wagon. And that, that special wagon is actually very special. It's one of three ever manufactured by General Motors. It's all aluminum V8, 283, four on the floor, only one to exist today in the world. And that's the one right there. And that's it. So that's probably worth as much or more than the apartment itself, right? Oh, well, that's no, worth it's, what it's, people pay yeah. for. It's not that valuable. It's just kind of fun fact on that's it. That's a funky little car. It is cool, though. I yeah. like that. Uh, rolling the video again, uh, and then right next to that, then you've got the it's a Ford GT, Ford GT, and the and the baby blue and uh, orange, orange package livery. there. Yeah, the, yeah, the golf package. golf heritage package. Yeah, so my company, Quality Metalcraft, manufactured about 90 part numbers on that car in production. Oh, okay. And then I was working at Ford as a designer on the time, so on the tail end of that project, I worked with uh, Camillo Pardo and some other designers to finish that car up. So uh, you, you, cars are so ingrained then in both of your lives then. Mm -hmm. And what you've done is just really kind of incorporated them into your living. Yeah, yeah exactly. Without going overboard, too, because, like, you know, I think there's a lot of people's vision of, like, a garage yeah. as, like, this kind of 50s diner sort right. of thing. So we have a lot of appreciation for, like, mid-century modern architecture, the stuff that came out of Cranbrook. Um, you know, there's some great stuff that happened in Detroit. So I think our house is almost more like Motor City than, like, car garage. You right, know, right. it's kind of like a, it's a lot of reflection of things that happen here, like cool stuff and design stuff, you know. I so it doesn't get over the top when, with When the, people think about car-themed stuff, it's doo diner, 50s, yeah. and that we, we did something 
totally like Saren in, like kind of like um, the text on our GM. Well, we wanted know? an industrial feel too. You know, I didn't want it like polished and shiny. I wanted it a little gritty, and you know, it's Detroit. <laughs> uh, what, what's next for you then? I mean, you, you're done with this place. You're going to move on and do something else. Or are you going to try to get into a business of creating places like this? There's always another project. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's always another project. We 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 kind of like the idea of. Um, I'll probably move back down to the city at one point or another. I don't know if that's just our business, our, our offices, or um, if that's living down here also. Well, it's a good time to bring in that that, that point. So more people are starting to come back oh, into absolutely. Detroit. It has become, I mean, you, you guys are the are, are the are the poster people for downtown. You're young, you're you know educated. You got you got the skills, you got the artistry, you got the tech, and all that stuff. Is is downtown the place to be? Absolutely. 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 There's, and, the, and the vibe has completely changed, like even from just five years ago. Yeah. You know, when you come down and you, you go to a couple parties and you hear people talking about it and people come in from out of town, especially like for events like this, right? Mm -hmm. So you get all these international people and they're like, man, I've just been hearing all these cool things about Detroit. Well, the best the best growth is in, in Southeast Michigan is downtown Detroit. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else going on. The, 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 the amount of excitement and the, you know, just the density is what's going on right down in Midtown and Corktown and downtown. Eastern Market. Eastern it's Market, it's all. Blowing up. Yeah. And, and, and as you guys well know probably better than most is there's a lot of buildings, kind of like the place you live now, exactly. just begging for somebody to yeah, come exactly. in and save it. Yeah, I kind of salivate over that sort of thing a little bit. Like I like to drive around and daydream a little bit like, yeah, maybe that one, or maybe that yeah, one, maybe that one. One of Detroit's biggest problems could have, may, may have been, you know, the sprawl and, you know, continually just cornfield neighborhoods and subdivisions and we have all them we have great quality building stock already homes and we have that we just why don't we repurpose that instead of creating building stuff that isn't as high quality as the stuff we could restore yeah well you guys have definitely done a great job with that i, I was fascinated great. to see it and i know uh, mary conway i believe uh is putting together a piece for our uh, charity preview yes. coming up this week yes. yes she is looking forward mary does a great job and it'd be good to see her back in town working with us on this but uh, thank you both yes, for coming sir. by thank you